Okay, well, welcome to chapter 7, or 6 and 7, of our book, and also welcome to week um, number 6 of our, um, of our course. And in this week, because you just came out of, I, I think, was, was a pretty hard week, we're going to do something a little different. Um, I think I'm going to call it a little bit lighter, give you like a little transition week into the next few chapters in the midterm. Um, but what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to, this, these two chapters, you know, they really kind of cover a lot of language that you may or may not be familiar with. In fact, I'm going to assume that you're not familiar with a lot of this language. You may have heard these words and maybe not necessarily made the connection on what they really meant or how they actually integrated into, you know, operations or systems or, you know, things like that. So what I'm going to do this week is we're basically going to have um, a little bit of time to sort of do a little vocabulary and memory work um, over these next two chapters. Um, while these two chapters don't necessarily complement each other, um, the first chapter, number six, uh, is on um, basic controls for HVAC and a, and a lot of terminology and, and stuff for controls. And the next chapter is on compliance, talking about the regulatory agencies and standards that relate to our profession. What I'd like you to do is, in the relatively short chapters, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read these chapters a couple of times, kind of get a real strong understanding of them, and then I'm going to give you a test. Um, and this is one of those few moments I'm going to ask you not to do it open book. Um, I'm going to ask you to do this test um, closed book. Now granted, that's that's a uh, act of faith here, and uh, but in order to encourage you to do that, I'm going to let you take this test three times. So at the end of that third time, um, that's going to be your grade. So, but that should that should give you an opportunity. And then if you, what I like you to do is, um, you know, like I said, just I, I want you to kind of challenge yourself like a traditional test and see if you can't um, nail these vocabulary words and some of these codes and standards um, related to controls and HVAC. Uh, so I hope that makes sense to you. Um, again, this is kind of a, a little different way of learning. Uh, this is actually more traditional, if you will, um, learning in that you're going to read these chapters, you know, make your notes of all the key terms and things like that, and then, and, and key standards, and then you're going to go back and take a test. Um, I might work in maybe a little bit more to kind of reinforce your learning during the week, a few, a few uh, um, maybe a few videos and um, things like that, a few articles to read. But this is going to be, I guess, I'm going to call this a fairly light week, um, depending on how well and how good your memory is. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, and I hope you do enjoy this, what I'm going to call a little bit of a break, although I know it's still going to be um, fairly uh, heavy uh, memorization this week. But it uh, should be something a little bit different for you. All right, well, let's get ready and let's get started into um, number uh, or chapter six here and controls and compliance.